Hello, I'm Timo Myllymäki and I'm repairing here a Kyleworth Tone King tenor saxophone from 1960s. Julius Kyleworth began making saxophones in 1925 in Czechoslovakia, but after the Second World War the state of Czechoslovakia took control of his factory. Julius Kyleworth moved to Germany to start up a new business and he soon became the largest saxophone manufacturer in Germany. Tone King was their professional model and was known for its big sound. There were four series of these uh, Tone Kings over the years and this individual here is a series 3 horn. Uh, the Amati company in Czechoslovakia also kept making saxophones under the name of Kyleworth but those are being labeled made in Czechoslovakia while this horn here is being labeled made in Germany. This horn is quite tarnished and has many small dents. Originally this model had beautiful lucite keycard in shape of wings, which can be seen in this picture that I found. When this horn came to me, however, the wing-shaped keycard had been replaced by this flat piece of plastic. The original keycard was obviously really easy to break. I tried to find the Lucite keycard, but with no luck, so I decided to replace this cheap looking piece of plastic with the metal keycards that can be found from the Series 4 Kyleworths. You may wonder why it reads H. Koof in this keycard. Herbert Koof ordered stencil saxophones from Kyleworth for his own Armstrong company, and those instruments were known with name Koof Superba. It was essentially the same instrument as Kyleworth Tone King or New King. Grover Washington Jr. was known to play a Kuv Superba saxophone. I started working on this by taking out all the keys. I removed the old pads and cleaned the tarnished keys. As you can see, the pads were already in quite bad shape. I think this horn had not been played for several years before I got it. I will continue by washing the body, which seems to have chunk from several years in it. Then I'll take out some dents. Magnetic dent ball system is handy for taking out dents from bell bow. I will then polish the body while trying to keep intact the parts that are left of the original lacquer. I need to install the new key cards to replace the plastic card. I will first make the needed card flanges by cutting them from a sheet brass, then soldering them on. I can then start placing the new pads.
This horn has rolled tone holes, so I can't straighten them by filing. I need to ensure the ceiling by adjusting the pads. Finally, I will install new cork to the neck. This horn is now about ready, so it's time for some test play. I hope you found this video useful. If you like my videos, please click the like button and also subscribe. Thanks for watching.